Hi, I am Xiang Yuchen. Here, I am happy to present our work Activating More Pixels in Image Super Resolution Transformer. At the beginning, I gave an overview of this work. This work was actually finished in April 2022. At that time, Transformer had just shined in the field of low level vision. Thus, we aim to design a powerful transformer backbone for image resolution and demonstrate its real potential for low-level vision tasks. Here, the chart shows the performance comparison between our proposed HAT and the state-of-the-art methods Sven IR and EDT. We can see that HAT can surpass Sven IR by up to one decibel. Before introducing the method, we first present the motivation of this work. Since Sway IR obtains impressive performance on image SR, we want to know the answers of two questions. That is, why does the transformer-based model perform better than CN-based methods? And how to design a better SR transformer to achieve greater performance breakthroughs? Thanks to the attribution analysis tool, we can obtain two insightful observations. First, Sven IR achieves better performance by utilizing fewer pixels, indicating that it has a stronger local representation ability. Second, Sven IR still restores wrong textures while RCN obtains the correct results, suggesting that using more pixels may help. Besides, through future visualization, we further observe that the broken artifacts exist in the intermediate features. We think that enhancing the cross-window interaction would be helpful for SR transformer. According to the above mentioned observations, we design our method HAT as the figure shows. HAT uses the classic residue in residue architecture. The main branch consists of several residual hybrid attention groups. Each group has several hybrid attention blocks with an overlapping cross-attention block and a convolution layer. The hybrid attention block is one of the key designs of our method. We insert the channel attention block into a standard Sven transformer block to alleviate its ability of using global information. To alleviate the potential optimization conflicts of channel attention block and self-attention module, we combine them in parallel. For the overlapping cross-attention block, it is similar to the standard self-attention block, but using our proposed overlapping cross-attention. The, over the window partition for the proposed overlapping cross-attention is shown as this. Key and value are computed based on the overlapping window partition then the module can utilize the cross-attention information directly. Additionally, we also introduce the same task pre-training strategy by using larger scale dataset. The model is trained on ImageNet and then fine-tuned on the specific dataset. We believe that larger scale data are vital for exploiting, exploiting the potential of SR transformer. Here, we provide some quantitative results. Red, blue, and green texts indicate the best, the second best, and the third best results respectively. As one can see that our method achieves the best performance. We also present results of viral comparison. We can see that our approach obtains the best viral quality with the clearest textures. We present the LAM comparison between Sven IR and our method. We can see that HAT activates significantly more pixels for the reconstruction. In the following part, we provide ablation study to show the effectiveness of the can designs in our method. First, we show the effects of different, different window sizes of window self-attention. Intuitively, enlarging the window size can directly activate more pixels for the reconstruction. From the results, we can observe that the model with larger window size indeed has much better.
better performance and uses more pixels for the instructions. Thus, we choose the larger window size of 16 is set in our method as default. We also present the ablation study on OCAB and CAB in our proposed network. We can observe that both OCAB and CAB enlarge the utilized range of information and obtain great performance gains. This dem demonstrates the effectiveness of our designs. We further study the pre-training strategy in our work. We compare the multi-related task pre-training proposed in EDT and the same task pre-training in our method. Compared to the multi-related task pre-training, our same task pre-training obtains better performance in the pre-training and the fine-tuning st stages. Additionally, we show the effects of the pre-training for different networks. We can see that all networks can benefit from the pre-training strategy. For the same type, same type of network, the larger the network capacity, the more performance gain. All this shows the effectiveness and the superiority of our pre-training strategy. We present model complexity analysis in this page. From the first table, we can see enlarging window size can bring a larger performance gain with a little increase in parameters and multi edge For the second table, we can observe we can observe that the proposed OCAB can bring a noticeable performance improvement with limited computation increase. In the last table, we show that the small variant of HAT achieves much better performance than Swan IR with fewer parameters and similar computations. Besides, simply enlarging Swan IR cannot obtain comparable performance to our proposed HAT. In summary, there are five points in this work. We propose a novel hybrid attention transformer HAT for image super resolution. HAT combines channel attention and self attention to activate more pixels from reconstruction. We introduce an overlapping cross attention module to enhance the cross window interaction. We further provide a same task pre training strategy to exploit the potential of SR transformer. HAT achieves the state-of-the-art performance that significantly outperforms existing methods. Thanks for listening. Here are links of the paper and the codes of our work at the bottom left, and we also provide a link of our group.